Hi everybody, it's Maria Willis here, and today we're going to be taking a closer look at the Color Layering Strawberries stamp set and the brand new Strawberry Hues Dye Cubes inks. Today I'm going to be sharing some tips for success with color layering stamps, and we are also going to be using the brand new ink cubes so that you can see how the colors look. My first tip is to check out the color layering guide that can be found on the packaging that your stamp comes in. It can also be found on the Hero Arts website. This color layering guide lets us know that we need to stamp the background of the strawberries, then the detail, background of the leaves, and then the detail, and we will have perfect strawberries. I've cut some cardstock down to three by four and a quarter, and I'm gonna use that red royal ink to stamp my first layer of strawberries. I recommend stamping this layer only one time so that you maintain the definition of the seeds and the light reflections. Now I'm going to rotate my misty and place that same piece of cardstock in that left corner and knock it all the way into the corner so that I can stamp the detail layer of the strawberries. I'm aligning my stamp on top of those strawberries and I'm going to use that darker color of red to stamp the detail. So now I've got my strawberries completed and I'm moving on to the background stamp for the leaves which I will stamp in fresh lawn which is the lighter of the two green colors. So I'm stamping the backgrounds in the lighter colors and the detailed stamps are being stamped in the darker ink colors to show the shadow and the definition. So now I've got the background of the leaves stamped and I'm going on to my fourth stamp which is that detail stamp and I'm going in with the darker green called Forever Green. And once that is stamped, my strawberries are complete. And it's really incredible how realistic they look with only two layers of color for each part. Now notice that I left my stamps in place. This is going to make it possible for me to stamp as many sets of strawberries as I want very easily. So here I am stamping it a, a first, second, and third time, and now I have three strawberry bases. So I'm just rotating my misty again, and I'm easily going to stamp those shadows onto the next three. Now I move over to the next corner and easily I can just stamp the leaves onto all three of those again. I'm not going to make you watch every stamping because it's the same every time, but I just wanted to show you that if you left your stamps in place and used the same size piece of paper, you can very easily stamp repeatedly to get the same results. Now I'm using the coordinating die to cut out all three of these strawberry bunches and I'm ready to start thinking about putting my card together. I decided I'd go with a blue background, so I got out my Splash Reactive ink and added a first layer of color to my background piece, and now I'm going to go in and add some darker shading with Blue Hawaii. Now that my ink blending is done, I'm going to add some white iridescent shimmer mist and some white glimmer metallic ink to my background to create sort of a shimmery magical look. Now look at how much shimmer and shine that background has. It is so pretty and this is one of my favorite ways to make um, a background that a card can really pop off of. Now I'm going to add that background to a black card base and we are ready for a sentiment and I've decided to go with Hey There Shortcake. I'm going to heat emboss this on black so I've used an anti-static powder tool and you can see there's a lot of powder in the background and I'm going to use white embossing powder and heat set it. When I'm done heat setting it, you're going to see that there's still some powder in the background and I wanted to show you that an easy way to remove that powder is just by using a, bite, a baby wipe and wiping it off of the back and that's all you really need to do. I cut that sentiment down, grabbed my strawberry bunches, and now I get to put my card together. So I'm using some foam tape to do that. I did cut off one of the leaves and decided to add it back in uh, at the center between the two strawberry bunches. And now I'm just going to add my Hey There Shortcake sentiment with some foam tape and a little bit of liquid adhesive. And I just think it needs a little bit more sparkle, so let's grab this Winter Sequins Assortment. These sequins are so pretty, but I don't want to overdo it, so I'm just going to add three using my precision glue. And then that is going to be it for this card. Thank you all so much for joining me, and I hope you have an amazing day. See you next time.